So you're looking to buy your first truck. You're looking to be an owner operator and get to this money. Well, in this video, I got a couple of different strategies and a couple of different ways that you can go about getting your first truck. So let's jump straight into it and get into the video. All right. So in the, in the amount of time going to these 19 years that I've been in trucking, there's so many different ways that I purchased trucks and became an owner operator uh, because a couple of times I like basically fell off and uh, had to come back up. So there's a couple of different ways that I'm going to talk about in this video, how you can become an owner operator, whether you have credit, have cash or both credit and cash, or you have none, right? The first way is this. Let's say that you have credit. All right. Well, if you have credit, you know, you can purchase a truck by going get a loan, of course, from the bank or from lenders that basically give out money and partner up with people that um, have CDLs and have some experience in the game and they'll partner up with them in the, basically in the business deal. That's basically what they're doing, right? Um, now, that can be a little tricky sometimes it can, and, and probably can be a little complicated, even though you do have credit, is because they're looking at it as it's a business deal, all right? So you're gonna have to fill out this application. They're gonna ask you a lot of questions. The number one thing is, do you have a CDL? and how much experience do you have, right? Not just about your credit. Because they're looking at it as, this is a business deal. You're asking us for 50 grand, let's just say the truck is 50 grand. You're asking us for 50 grand to give you to start a business. How likely are you going to give us this 50 grand back, back plus our interest that we're looking to make on? Which is, if they give you 50, they're probably looking to make you know 20 grand off the 50, which we're bringing up to 70, all right? in the commercial trucking space at a minimum. So if you don't have a CDL, you've never done trucking, you don't know nothing about trucks, they're probably gonna look at you like you're high risk, right? Now they do have some credit unions, some other banks, traditional finance, and that will give you the money. Not many, but some of them will, right? Just because you got good credit, right? Now, um, so be careful, you know, just kind of do your research and understand that going into it, just having credit, those can be some challenges for you. Well, what if you have credit and you have cash? Well, if that's the case, you can kind of, uh, uh, bogard your way more into the door and kind of make them give you, uh, the loan for the equipment because you're coming with collateral. You're showing them, Hey, look. I might not have X, Y, Z, but I have some cash. I'm going to go like I'm coming with my credit, but I'm also going to put 10, 20, $30,000 down on this business that I want to create, which is the truck. Right. So they, they'll, they'll look at you a lot different. Right. So that can help you a lot. Now, what if you only have cash? Well, if you only have cash, then you need to buy a truck that's in your budget, right? Let's talk about the low end trucks, right? Because I believe that they have a lot more people with probably, let's say five to $20,000 to buy a truck more than they have people at the 30 to 50, 60, $70,000 range, right? Um, don't, do not get discouraged from buying a truck for like 5,000. 10,000, 15, 10,000, you know, $20,000. All right. I've bought trucks under $10,000 multiple times. And I've made with every single one, I've made hundred, 200, 300, $400,000 with that one truck. Seriously. My line is no fluff. I've, I've done this. I'm doing this now. I have a truck in my fleet right now that I haven't paid that much for, for it under double digits. And it didn't pay for itself already. Like I'm making money with it, right? So definitely, you know, don't 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 listen to the people on the internet, right? Go into it, have a positive mindset, believe that it's gonna you know work out for you. Pay a mechanic, get a mechanic to come help you, a mentor to come help you. Hey man, let me give you a hundred dollars. Come check this truck out for me. 
you know, I, I don't need you to really tell me should I buy the truck or not, but just tell me what's involved in this truck. Am I going to have to put brakes on this truck, you know, next two months? Am I going to have to change all the airbags because it's sitting up tires or dry rotted? And, you know, can you teach me how to do a, a, a coolant test on it to make sure it doesn't have a blown head gasket? You know, all these things, right? And there's a lot more. But, you know, give them a couple of dollars. Let them come check the truck out. Give you some, some advice. That way, you know, moving forward, you can make a decision. Should you buy this truck or should you not, right? Uh, and I help with these things as well. You know, uh, just look in the description. I'll leave the number below. You can text that number for the mentorship, right? Now, another way is, which is a very, very great way that a lot of drivers sleep on. They sleep on this. They discount it. They really don't. You know, when I was coming up, we didn't really have this like that. They did, but you had to do a lot to get into it which is the least purchase model, right? Listen, when I was coming up in the game, I wanted a truck so bad, you know, which I, I, you know, I got a truck very young, but I just wanted trucks. And the least purchase model back then, you had to put money down. Nobody was letting you just show up with a CDL. No companies was doing that, at least not the good ones. And just letting you get in the truck. It wasn't like letting you drive off in a 50, 70, $100,000 truck and giving you on operator pay. That's not what was happening. You have to come with a certain amount of experience, two years plus, most likely, two, three years plus, most likely. Then you have to come with like five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars to put down, right? Um, and then they will give you a truck. That's not really the case no more. Most people, most companies now, they're not requiring money down, right? Like I'm even about to put together something to where we can have lease operators over here by me with no money down, right? The game has changed. Do not discount that model, right? You're coming with your CDL and experience. They're giving you a truck and a trailer to go out and do your thing, period. I'm not talking about the super driver model, which is they tell you you're a lease operator, lease purchase guy, lease, you know, on, you know, whatever, but you're really just a glorified driver. You don't have no say so you don't you know you're not really making any money you know i'm not talking about that i'm talking about a true lease operator lease purchase you know you you can see that if you work a certain amount of weeks and certain amount of months you will own a truck you're making enough money to where you can't go on vacation you you know you can pay the truck off you can put to the side and like get another truck or, you know you're in position right they put you in this owner operator position but you do it i understand when you do this model like be responsible don't just go there and like treat it like you're a driver no you're on the operator right um and another model if you want to like start off really really good your first straight out the gate right i've done this as well say you have good credit and good cash you know say you have good credit and you have cash well what I've done before and what I would do, if you're not, you know, in doubt that it will work, go get multiple loans, right? Go apply for multiple loans on multiple trucks. Most likely they're going to approve you. If they do, get all the trucks. And now you start it off from day one with a small fleet, right? If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you want to join our community once I start this up, which is going to be very soon, you're looking for mentorship, make sure to join the waiting list. And how can you do that? You can text 985-326-1699. Just let me know that you're looking to get into the mentorship program when it's available. I'll put your name to the list. And I believe I'm going to pick a couple of people to just give it to them for free. But if you don't text and get on the list, then you won't even know when it comes out, all right? I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.